Another objection to family worship is people say, our lives are just too busy, it's just too crammed, we can't find a time. That's probably the most serious objection of all. And um, I wouldn't have said this five years ago, but when you have kids that are 17, 20, and 22, uh, I've got some sympathy for this now. Ideally, when the kids come home late at night, if they haven't had supper with us, I should have another family worship with them. I wish I did that, but I, I, I don't. But they are home enough. So what we, what we do is we set the basic time where most people are home and we do family worship at that time. So our goal is to do it immediately after supper. If someone has to go away, like at 7 o'clock, we have a supper a little earlier so we have time for family worship. And so usually we have two of the three children with us, maybe all three, um, some nights. But um, we try hard and we ask the children try to be home for supper and family worship. And sometimes it just can't be, but we do, we do the best we can. And I think most families, if it's really given a priority, um, you can make arrangements. Now, if you have a if you have a person that's working, say a three to three to eleven shift. If my son was working the three to eleven shift, for example, could never be with us for supper, then I would at eleven o'clock. I would definitely have family worship with him every night, uh, and have a second family worship time.